I eventually exit the property. I'm still thinking and thinking. And He would not give me, I tried to get on the bambus, he would not give me, don't ask stupid questions, everything was here. And he goes. That's it. So I thank you very much and I'm gone. That's all. As I exit the property, the car goes next to me and I see the profile of the gentleman that he sits inside. I recognize the gentleman in a split of the seconds and I'm not sure exactly what to do with it. I could go back, he turns inside of the center, uh, but in my memory is this individual is a police officer and there was all kinds of stuff. Yes, Ruski, that it would be a police if I'm going to be asking around and this and that. And so what I do is, happy with basically what I got, I continue toward the center, immigration center, but I said to myself, you know what? Even if he is a police officer, I have not violated any laws. I haven't done anything. Um, in fact, the gentleman lives here. He comes to me, I walk, 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 and he comes to me. And I said, you know what? I said, why don't I go? Why don't I go one more time inside in there and see maybe if I can recognize him, even if he is a police officer, I can see exactly what the situation is. And I go inside. He comes, this is a BMW, like a sporty SUV utility, like a new one. I don't know, 2000, I don't know, whatever. 18, 15, I have no idea. This is like a brand new BMW, very expensive car. You see if he just passes by. And you have heard everything in the original audio recording. I see his face. This gentleman, this is an angel, this gentleman. This gentleman told me that if I'm going to be doing something like this, eventually he's going to take a ride from the lodge. So, I have two things I associate. The police officer and the second thing, the ride from the lodge. See, I already know now when I walk that the gentleman is from lodge. A police officer, I don't know why I have impression he is a police officer. Let's go on. And I'm saying to myself, if he comes from Lodge, he promised he would do this stuff if I would do something like this. I am saying to myself, then he must be a police officer that he's trying to help me out. A police officer that is an owner here, whom I have to see it. So the only thing that can happen is, is just one more proof that I'm going to get. But I walk like this about 10, 15 minutes maybe. Then eventually I turn around and I go greet him. I want to make sure I sit to myself, he came from Lodge to see me. Let me go and see it. Definitely do not recognize, know nothing about his tag number. And for everything I have stated, I'm more than willing to take a lie detector test. I do not know registration tax do not discern between registration tax between the gears between actually is gears i think is zg something like this lodge know nothing about around these cities 
don't know for any city around other than Zgersh is ZG, I think. And I think they have maybe even something else. I have no idea. I think the ZG is stands for Zgersh. I have no idea because I have no interest in knowing this stuff till I buy my own car. I don't care, frankly. By Americans, I was actually told that this is going to be a sign of ignorance. I would give you my sign, and you probably know what exactly that would be. It might sound rude to some people, but you got me in a such an impossible situation that, again, quite frankly, I don't care. I just want my own car. I just want my life. So this is the stuff I, I really don't care. Sign of ignorance is, Mr. Trump, when you take a pen, when you take a notebook, and you go in front of the structure, and you write down how the one was built, exactly. First uh, this, then this, then that, and so on. And then you demand from the person you subjected to MK Ultra, to drugs, to electroshocks, to all kinds of stuff, to go about and give a full account. This is, for me, a sign of ignorance. This is only animals would do stuff like this. That's all there is. Everything else here is pure logic. That's all there is. When you do stuff like this, you're an animal. You're an idiot. You're a worthless creature. It's about the same thing like you would go and cut the wings from the eagle and say, fly, I fly. I remember this gentleman. Cripple, maybe a fox or a wolf or something like this, and say, run, run. Oh, You're sick, gentleman. Mr. Trump. Now, I'm obsessed with the idea that he is a police officer. I'm 100% that this gentleman is a police officer, but I still don't know who he is. The thing about it is that I don't know anything about this till I eventually come in front of his home. Home of his father, I should say. This is where his father is. This is not his home. This is where his father is. A little vacation place. This is where his father stays there. And once I get there, I stand there outside of this little place like this, just like this, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm smiling, and I'm thinking, I'm trying to pull the memory out. What exactly? Where can I place you? So in picture, where who are you? He's inside. He's not uh, outside. Nor he is, nor his father who's going to come out. None of the, the two are outside. This is a small house. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe six by six, something like this. Meter, square meter, maybe 50 square meter, maybe. Something like this, small it is. And I'm outside and I'm thinking about it. It's smaller than 50 square meters. Something like 30, 40 square meters, I estimate. But I'm standing outside and I'm thinking, who, who, where are you? Let me think about, let me think about. And I'm going over, 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 over. And then he comes to me. What happens was, what happens is, why the police officer? This gentleman was one of the key people that they did not kick us out of the Grotniki because of my behavior. Yeah, I, apparently I did quite good stuff over there in Grotniki, whatever came my way. But I have already explained what kind of a stuff inappropriate was done in front of me and so on. And so then I also have returned back with the same favor. And I insulted everything that worked. And so I was like a little moho that brought the money on the table, but at the same time did 
fair share of damage. But what I did was, <laughs> maybe this is why I was so successful. What I did was, regardless of how much they terrorized me, these Eastern European leaders, if you want, in a parenthesis, and other people, uh, I would still go in a state of mind and without possession of my body to insult them straight in the face, regardless how much they would torture. They could not put the terror in my bones. Enough for me to shut up and eventually do a stalk. And so what happened was, um, maybe this is why I was so interesting to them. And this gentleman just happens to be a mediator between us and the people that were all pissed off. And it was the same thing in this village. He was the one who calmed them down because they would not even allow us anymore to go inside of this vacation village because of me. Maybe this is what angered uh, Elon Musk. And so, sure, it was not pleasant. And so I really figured out that he is a police officer. I really did. Finally, when I pulled information, at one time we eventually had to stay in his place because it was like a total rebellion of, of this of this people uh, who vacation in this place, with these villagers. They weren't going to allow us anymore, and they allow us to stay at his place. It must have been in 2002, 2003. I don't know where I cooked that one, but that was pretty bad. Uh, and well. Then they somehow accepted us back. I'm sure I paid the price for that too. And people felt quite fun, uh, good about having fun and walking dead men around them, basically. Not that I cared about anything, anyways. Like I said, I got myself into uh, trouble bigger than what possibly I could even handle. But I'm pretty damn sure that I'm a dead man walking through it. And because the way I was, everybody felt comfortable about the way things were. And everybody felt that I deserved it, that I deserved it. So I can somewhat relate to the lady and to this gentleman and to everybody. But Now I go and I decide to, 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 to speak with the, with, the, with the gentleman I have saw in the car. Now in my surprise there is an older gentleman that comes out, out of the house. But the side profile somehow matches his profile. Not that much, not that much at all. It was a different man I saw it in the car. And it's this gentleman that comes out, and this is our older gentleman. And I'm looking at him, and uh, I get nervous because, you know, I am very uncertain who I'm dealing with. This is not the same person. And I don't know what to go about it and say, can I please speak to your son? What do you do in this kind of situation? And so I start the conversation with him. He acts like as if you know, this is the person that he, as if he is the person and I'm getting a serious doubts about I'm actually suspecting even that they have done something to him that he got so old or something like this. And in fact, this was the father of the gentleman who helped us and at one point I asked him can I please see your son but he must have been your son sir can I please talk to your son I said do you remember me sir he said no 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I say. Of course, I'm thinking about the younger person, about the son. I say, could possibly be this your son? It couldn't be a son. But I said, but I think you were a police officer. Now says, I don't understand what you are talking about. And I say, he says, moment. He said, is it is it maybe your son that I can spoke to, please? And it is the son that comes out. I feel totally relieved now. There you go, the gentleman come out and I say I remember you very good. 2002. You're, you're the father, uh, you're the son of the father. The two really look uh, a little bit alike. Quite alike. What's the matter with the situation here, okay? There was a yellow car parked right next to in a big home on a video that you were able to see. This house might have been constructed sometimes I say in 2010 might have been something like this. What the hell might have been even later. Might have been even 2013 but I think it was 2010. These are not new people, uh, old people, these are new people. This was a new home that was built. The car, however, that was bought, was bought as a new car, the yellow Fiat that you have seen, and it's still the same car, it never changed. This gentleman, however, this was one of the, well, one of the first people, 2002, we met in Grotniki, as I said, this gentleman was not a police officer, but I'm assuming that the only person who could actually calm the people down would be a police officer, holy shit, who else can possibly do that? In my head, Anyhow, first, the first thing was it was a police officer, especially because Lodge, uh, if you're going to be doing something like this, he told me under MKL trauma, eventually I'm going to come see it. Basically, help me out. Who is the gentleman? This gentleman works for the city today and is one of the main people in Lodge. Uh, I think he works either in a city hall. Actually, if I would go, and see the map I can probably even tell you in what the building in like one of the main buildings in the city of the lodge back then this gentleman was some kind of a counselor some kind of a like a little mayor in this place here he was the one in charge in 2002 for Grotniki something like this Ostronia area and so he had a quite a considerable amount of respect from the people he was entrusted with a public position and as such he was capable to be a mediator i do not figure out the stuff like this right now as i'm talking about but what he does is he goes like this with a finger because of the stuff that i have told that i have actually explained about that we had an incident that he was a mediator that he come down the people he come them down in two locations one was Ostronia, in area where we are at right now in the center around this area there was a problem too and here he did so this was a very very important individual uh, because he was like a shadow that uh, kind of ensured that they wouldn't kick us out uh, sorry to say that it was because of me but really you shouldn't give so much um, you really shouldn't give so much credibility to somebody that was subjected to MK Ultra when it comes to his perceptions somebody that is tortured uh, eventually is gonna go and spit in your face if he's got a guts, he's going to go and spit in your face and and even try to slap you and, and do stuff like this. So that's pretty much me. I keep insisting he's a police officer. But you're not a police officer knowing he's laughing. I say, but I remember you calm down the people. I basically tell him all about what I told you.
He is laughing and he's going like this with the fingers. He cannot believe the stuff. You know what this is? You know what kind of memory this is? So you want to go and doubt to me about it? No, that's why I decided that I'm going to pop at the police station and rather ask for the tapes. I want the tapes, I want the police tapes about this Gersh, about what went on in the stores since Gersh, in front of the business owners. So this is one of the head people in the city of the Lodge. I don't know what he is, but this is one of the main people. He cannot believe. And I ask him, but please tell me, if you're not a police officer, what are you? How could you possibly go and calm the people down like this? He no longer wants anything. He helped me out. He fulfilled his legacy. He helped me out. Unbelievably how, how much he helped me out. Everybody helped me out. Every one of you people helped me out. But it's really time for this thing, for this whole thing to be revealed as it is. I can't go on and retire like this doing this stuff. I'm asking, do you remember me? Come on. He is laughing and he's doing like this and bye bye, that's it basically. Go! Nothing had to do with, with registration decals with a tag, anything like this. You got it, you got it. For both cars, you got it, I told you. I gave it the background, I told the gentleman, basically pointed out the direction of the Poland, where he was. Uh, you got it. I told the story about the two gentlemen, personal details, which one of those two spoke English. You got it. Folks, give me a green light for this. Uh, the next step is what is mine. It's going to be at a police station because this thing's, this thing's now I got to be done. Uh, is there anything else I want to say? No, I feel really good about this. I feel really good about this place. To me, this is a special place. Um, people would not do the stuff like this if they wouldn't be eager to help. Uh, I did my share of trouble. I paid for that. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, I understand, um, but there's just so much more I'm looking forward to Poland, which I guess this is really my new life here, a chapter one, I guess. So that's all there is, folks, for this video. Uh, no less than six people identified to the last detail. Uh, this is this is pretty damn good for one place and I can go from house to house I have indicated which houses were built which one was not built what was there what I was even told to remember because it would disappear and stuff like this especially having in my mind the house that was rebuilt but there was another house behind her especially have in my mind the path that went to the forest and eventually became fenced and you were able how they planted the trees like this this is what the people the natives of Grotniki know about all this stuff I'm talking about the generations the older generations that have used one yet in 2002 and that's pretty damn impressive that's very impressive that's more than good enough thanks for watching this video and bye bye take care of yourself till next time